We'll now call a county commission meeting to order. This is the first meeting of the month. Mm -hmm. We'll call on Mr. Johnson on invocation. Thank you, sir. Pray with me, please. Father, once again, we just come before you and we ask you for wisdom. We ask you for your grace. We ask you to forgive us of our sins. We pray that you would give us the, your mind tonight and the wisdom that we need to make these decisions, that we will make those decisions in accordance with your will, that will honor you and serve the folks of this county. We ask it in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Let us stand for our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag. flag. Mr. you have any adjustments to the agenda? Mr. Chairman, there is one adjustment that we've been requested from the Sheriff's Office to add. Uh, this would be uh, number uh, or letter I. Uh, it is uh, budget amendment number 18. And the purpose of the amendment would be to appropriate uh, federal equity sharing funds for special operations in the Sheriff's Department to appropriate federal equity sharing funds uh, for special operations in the Sheriff's Department. And the uh, total amount on that's going to be $45,000. So we'd like to add that uh, item to the agenda, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Anything else? That's all I have, sir. Anyone else wishing to add? No. Um, sh should my item go under new business to, as opposed to an agenda item to change the the times for the first meeting in December? Because you will be asking for... Uh, yeah, we'll have to amend the rules of yes, procedure. Right. So should that be under new business or add as an agenda item? Yeah, I was just doing it under new business. Okay. Any other corrections or addition to the docket if not do i have a motion to approve the docket motion to approve the agenda as uh, amended mr chairman okay any questions go on motion none all in favor please say aye aye, aye. aye. those opposed likewise Ready to go into administrative on, matters? Gonna, yes, sir. We're going to let you okay. go right into it. Uh, well, actually, Mr. Johnson has the first item on there, and that has to do with uh, assistance of local grants for the airport. Yes, sir, Mr. Chairman. What we have before us this evening is a uh, is a grant that will come down to the airport commission, and this requires uh, local matches we've done in the past between us and the city. Uh, this was actually money that was, for the most part, unanticipated. You know, we, uh, we completed the runway overlay and uh, repaired the, the dip in the middle of the runway and two taxiways. And we hoped we would have enough money to uh, do all the ramp work. Well, we didn't, so we did what we could. And... Uh, they came back to us and said that they had some additional money that we qualified for and that they would go ahead and grant us the money to completely redo the ramp. And the reason we got the money is because of the safety-related item that we have larger planes coming in on the taxiway now and because where the tie-downs are for the smaller planes, they were coming in very close proximity to those planes. So they're going to expand the apron, move those planes out of the way, and create a wider turning radius for the larger aircraft and maintain that uh, that setback for safety so that's the reason we qualified for it and uh, if I understand this properly we're going to take the money for our part of the local match for money we had to set aside for land purchases and uh, I don't think we'll be back anytime soon we want to keep some of that money in case someone we get a prospect who needs a site prepared or or a road paved into their facilities. And this, go ahead. The, the 
83,763 that we had set aside for future land purchases. Was that for future land purchases at the airport or just future land purchases? That was land period? purchases, my understanding, at the airport. Correct. Now, originally all of the land that that money was set aside for was not immediately adjacent to the airport. Some of it was going to be used to bar to buy land for field dirt. Right. I remember. Yeah. And that amount, Mr. Johnson, is the 41250 Yes, sir. Okay. Any other questions for Mr. Johnson? Okay. So, so, uh, I do. Okay, so okay. after this, after this, then we're going to have forty two, uh, about $42,000 left. That's correct. In, in that fund. Okay. That's correct. All right. But I don't anticipate any any requests in the immediate okay. future. And, and I don't anticipate going over forty one. I understand, Mr. Okay. Robertson. I had that in mind when I made that statement. <laughs> but thank you. I appreciate it. Ms. Johnson, and I'd be correct to point out that this is, this is about a 10 to 1 return. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's pretty good. Yes. We would not have got it if it ha had not been for airport safety, though. That was... okay. Motion to approve, Mr. Chairman. Motion to approve. Any questions regarding the motion? Not all in favor, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, likewise. Item B is a request for approval of budget amendment number 15. Uh, David Martin will make that presentation. Good evening, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners. I'm here this afternoon asking you to approve a budget amendment uh, to allow $1,000 of the grant monies that we receive for the training exercise at the Statesville Airport to be used for overtime for Statesville, City of Statesville, to be used in their fire department, police department, whatever. Uh, we have, in the line item budget, we have $3,000. And we're doing this basically in conjunction with Statesville. And this is just requesting $1,000 of that be moved so we can reimburse them for overtime for the exercise. Okay, any questions for Mr. Martin? not do we do i hear a motion uh motion for approval mr chairman okay any questions regarding motion if not all in favor please say aye aye aye, aye. thank you those opposed mr chairman uh, a few months ago the, the um an ad hoc committee was put together, made up of solid waste staff, administration, and two representatives of the Board of County Commissioners to investigate uh, some means to address a budget shortfall that was created uh, when uh, Mooresville Transfer Station uh, failed to receive uh, continued funding from the town of Mooresville. Uh, the committee has been meeting and has a recommendation to make tonight. Uh, David Lambert is the uh, staff uh, representative that will be presenting this. And, of course, you have, as I indicated, two members of the board uh, served on this committee as well. Good evening. Uh, I guess to really explain this, we need to preface this with a, a little brief history of the point we're at and how we got there. Uh, Mooresville Transfer Station is built in fiscal year 96 and 97, funded by collab collaboration of the Idaho County Solid Waste Enterprise Fund and the town of Mooresville, paying 70 and 30 percent of their construction costs, respectively. At that time, there was a verbal agreement between the county and the town of Mooresville that provided that the town would, would produce 30 percent of the annual operating cost. This arrangement was satisfactory to both parties until this past January. At that time, Solid Waste staff was contacted by the town of Mooresville staff with questions regarding their monthly invoice. A more detailed invoice was provided, and this seemed to satisfy the town for the time being. The town staff shared during this time that they were looking for ways to fund a proposed recycling program and were looking towards the county for help. In April, Idle County Solid Waste staff and the town of Mooresville Public Works Sanitation staff met again to discuss recycling and financing. Town of Mooresville staff revealed their town manager was not happy with the current financial arrangement at the station. Subsequent meetings held in May included administration from both parties. During discussions, it became apparent that transportation costs were a major portion of the operating expense and also a major item of contention between the stakeholders. 
The town maintains that they're being charged a disproportionate amount as commercial haulers only pay transportation costs on commercial waste and have free disposal on household waste. The bulk of the town's disposal is of household origin. The county maintains that the agreement was entered into by the town and has been honored for over 10 years without question. The county would not have built the station in its existing location without the assurances from the town. It soon became clear that the agreement couldn't easily be reached as the town informed the county they didn't intend to pay the June invoice and would begin direct haul into the landfill as of July 1st, placing the Iredell County Solid Waste Enterprise Fund in a tenuous position. Loss of anticipated revenue obviously places our ability to provide the same level of services at the Mooresville Station in jeopardy. So both parties, as Mr. Mashburn said, agreed to form ad hoc committees consisting of representatives, administration, departmental staff, and elected officials to attempt to resolve the situation. And county members were Commissioner Vice Chairman Steve Johnson, Commissioner Frank Mitchell, County Manager Joel Mashburn, Deputy County Manager Tracy Jackson, Finance Director Susan Blumenstein, myself, and Susan Cornell from Solid Waste Staff. Our committee evaluated many options for addressing the town's concerns while trying to keep a positive budget balance for the transfer station in the solid waste department. The town addressed points that they, they felt that would more fairly address the situation more equitable for them. After several options had been evaluated and discarded, a compromise was reached and agreed upon to be presented to this board. County Solid Waste Enterprise Fund, as you know, operates independently from the county general fund, and we support ourselves on our revenue we generate and controlling expenses. As transportation costs seem to be a large portion of the operating cost, the solution to this problem is going to have to involve transportation cost. So the recommendation we come forward with tonight is that the existing agreement between the Iredell County and the town of Mooresville, by which the town paid 30 percent of the operating cost of the station, be voided. The county proposes to begin assessing a transportation fee of $10 per ton on household waste, whether hauled by the town, private, or public firms. Transportation charge will be evaluated on an annual basis each May, with the average cost from a previous year providing the basis for the upcoming year's fee, and fuel cost will be the primary factor that we consider in this reevaluation. The county agrees not to enter into any agreement or arrangements with any hauler that would allow for a fee lower than the town's fee. The county agrees not to use legal means to collect July and August 2010 invoices if the town agrees to pay the June 2010 invoice in full. The town agrees their dollar truck will not attempt to deliver the transfer station, but will instead come to the Twin Oaks landfill. The town agrees not to deliver yard waste to the transfer station, but does have the option to deliver to the Twin Oaks landfill. The county agrees to accept separated recyclables from the town at the recycling facility located at the Twin Oaks landfill in the event the town wishes to pursue this opportunity. And the recommendation is that these terms be, in enact, be enacted with transportation fee being assessed to all haulers as of December 1st, 2010. Any questions that we can attempt to answer? Any questions, Mr. Lambert? Mr. Lambert, you answered this uh, question in committee. I'd ask you to answer it again for the <clears throat> public consumption. You feel pretty comfortable this $10 per ton is, is your cost of, of operation for delivering this waste from the transfer station to your main facility on Twin Oaks Road? Yes, sir. Okay. That's all I have, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Anyone else? Mr. Lambert, I'm going to ask you kind of a rhetorical question, too. I, I know the answer, but for public consumption, we're not treating the town of Mooresville or any government entity any better than we're treating any uh, any private entity. Is that is that a fair statement in this deal? Mm, that would be correct. Okay. That's all I have. Okay. Anything else from anyone else? If not, I will entertain a motion at this time. Mr. Chairman, I move for approval of the $10 per ton transportation fee on all household waste delivered to the Mooresville Transfer Station by any municipal or commercial haulers effective December the 1st, 2010. Thank you. Any questions regarding the motion? 
If not, all in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you, Mr. Lambert. Uh, Mr. Ron Smith, I think, is going to make a presentation on memo number four concerning a request from uh, the uh, Arizona State School System concerning Lake Norman High School. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, back in 2008, the uh, Arizona State Schools posted a $203,000 bond to ensure the completion of two wet detention ponds at Lake Norman High School. And back in June of 2009, uh, the school system had the, had the ponds completed and they came back before the board to ask for the release of that bond. Um, the board took action that night to release 75% of the amount, which came to $152,000 um, and, and change. Um, we did not, re or you did not release the 25% um, that was remaining based on my recommendation because of some problems with the ponds. Uh, the school system has worked since that time to bring them into compliance. They look good uh, at their last annual or at their last inspection by our erosion control officer. And we would recommend to grant the request of releasing the remaining $50,813.25. I'd be glad to answer any questions that you have. Mr. Smith, if you feel good at this time, uh, this is the thing we should do? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They've been working pretty closely with us to get these things in shape. Any additional questions? Motion. Okay. Not on entertain a motion. Motion to approve the release of the bond, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Any questions on that motion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Ms. Blumenstein will present memo number five, which is also a request uh, from the Iowa State School System. On October 5th, Dr. Kenny, Kenny Miller presented to you on the, a request from Iowa Statesville Schools to draw down $1,330,295 of lottery proceeds for several different um, projects. The um, public schools in North Carolina notified me on October 26th that those projects were approved. The funds were transferred into our account on the 2nd, and today I entered um, issued a check to to draw those monies into the county's account. This request is to approve the budget amendment that will allow me to reimburse our states of schools. <coughs> Any questions for Ms. Blumenstein? No, no, I don't a motion. Motion to approve budget amendment 17, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Any questions regarding the motion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. Memo number six is a request for you to approve a three-year lease with the North Carolina Department of Environment and Natural Resources for approximately 504 square feet of space at the Agricultural Resources Center. This is a continuation of a current lease that we have with the state, uh, and it will be in the amount of $399 per month. Motion to approve, Mr. Chairman. Motion to approve. Any questions regarding the motion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Those opposed? Memo number seven is more tonight for information than it is uh, requesting that you take action on this. But accordance with a new statute, <coughs> uh, which is GS 168-86, uh, the Board of County Commissioners and all uh, public bodies have to adopt a code of ethics policy or resolution by January the 1st of 2011. Um, the uh, attached to the memo tonight uh, is a copy of the legislation that was ratified and uh, item B under that is the, shows the area that is required for the board uh, to pass. What we've done is we've attached uh, <coughs> three separate options uh, the first option that you have, which is entitled Code of Ethics for the Board of Commissioners of Iredell County, and it has a preamble and a resolution. And on the second page of that, it shows the minimum that the Board of County Commissioners can um, 
adopt uh, in accordance with the statute. And um, then attached to that as well, and mine's color-coded, are theirs? Yes. The yellow is, um, is uh, one that was approved or is con under consideration by the Board of Commissioners of Guilford County. Um, and it's, as you can see, there's much more verbiage in it than the one that you're required uh, to approve. And then following that is one from Lee County, which is not quite uh, as lengthy, doesn't have quite the verbiage that the one from uh, Gaston County does, but uh, ha requires or does have more language in it than is actually required. It, it basically states the, the, the principles that you're required to have in there and then uh, adds uh, some additional verbiage to that. So we've just offered you uh, two or three options that you can look at. Again, the one that is the first one in your package uh, is the minimum that you can adopt, and you can go anywhere from there and, and uh, meet the uh, state standards. Again, you're not required to meet this, uh, approve this tonight, uh, but it does have to be approved prior to January the 1st. Any questions? <coughs> okay. Uh, okay. So uh, from that, I'm assuming that we, is is there, do you want us to put it back on the agenda for the first regular meeting well, in December? Yeah, I think it would give everybody a good chance to look over it and then bring it back in December. Okay. I, we'll, we'll put it on the first regular meeting of December then. Okay. For, December, December. for what it's worth. What? Go ahead. For what it's worth, I read these three things, and let me preface what I'm about to say with this. I've really been privileged and honored over the 16 years I've been here to serve with some of the most ethical people I've ever met in my life, and that means staff and the board members I've served with. I've disagreed with them from time to time, but never at any time did I have any doubt that they were doing what they thought was in the best interest of the county and the taxpayers. Uh, I contrast that with the fact that the gentleman who was uh, Speaker of the North Carolina House when this legislation put forth, I think, just got out of federal prison. But uh, as far as my part, the, the second two additions are wasted words. Agreed. It's a, totally unnecessary. Uh, again, I congratulate the present board I serve with, and I thank the previous boards that they were governed from within. And instinctively, they did not do anything that was uh, unethical, and I think this county has been blessed as a result of it. But that's my part. I'm okay, I'm okay to prove it tonight. The first, the first edition there, I think, is all we need. But do you want to make it move? It, it, yeah. It, it, motion to approve that addition. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Any questions regarding the motion? Are we approving it tonight or putting it on for the tonight. first meeting? Nope. Tonight. First meeting. You ready? Okay. 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 Any questions regarding the motion? All in favor of approving the epic code tonight, say aye. 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 Those opposed. Next item of the approval of the October 26 minutes. Motion to approve, Mr. Chairman. Motion to approve. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Those opposed. And uh, Mike Phillips with the Arnold County Sheriff's Department will present item I, the, the <coughs> item that we've added to the agenda. Uh, has copies of the uh, budget amendment are coming around to you at this time. Okay. And it'd be a budget amendment number 18. We're <coughs> requesting consent to move $45,000 from seized funds to our special operations line. Is there any additional information other than just special operations, or is it something of a confidential nature? Yes, sir. Okay. And the reason we're moving it is we, we budgeted less for that this year and thought that we would, as we need it, we would put money into it. So. Okay. Um, 
Mr. Chairman, is it, do we do we have some method by which we have a committee, even if it's a committee of one, who has some oversight of this money before we vote on this? We don't have anybody doing this. No Matthew. offense to no. the sheriff's department. Um, well, I guess as a matter of, of new business, when when the time comes, and I think we, you know, we ought to discuss some way to know somebody, at least one member of this board, ought to know how we're spending that money. In my opinion. Okay. Having said that, I have no objection to taking a vote on this. Okay. Do we do or do I not? do not have objection, but I, but I, in going forward, I, I think we ought to have a better way. I'm ready to accept the motion. Motion to approve the request of Mr. Phillips. Okay. Thanks for the $45,000. Any, any questions regarding the motion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thanks, sir. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, that's all the administrative matters tonight. Okay. Announcement of vacancies occurring on boards and commissions. Recreation Advisory Board, four announcements. Zoning Board of Adjustments, four announcements. Board of Health, four announcements. Home and Community Care Block Grant Committee, six announcements. Farmland Preservation Board, one announcement. Criminal Justice Partnership Program Committee, six announcements. Appointment to Boards and Commissions. Crossroads Behavioral Health Care Board of Directors, one appointment. Do we have anyone for, for that board? Table. Move to the table. Any questions regarding the motion? All in favor, please say aye at the table. Aye. 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 Those opposed? Animal Grievance Committee, one appointment. Mr. Chairman, I'll nominate Mr. Sidney Wisner. Sidney Wiesner? Wiesner, excuse me. Okay. Are there any other nominations? If not, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Those opposed? Region F, Agent Advisory Committee, one appointment. Motion to table. Motion to table. All in favor of that motion, please say aye. 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 I'm finished business. Anyone? No? Okay. New business? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. somebody from the Nursing Home Advisory Board, uh, uh, Tamika Cooper, my mistake. Okay. What board was that? For the Nursing Home Advisory okay. Board. Okay. All in favor of Tamika Cooper, please say aye. 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 Those opposed? <clears throat> Unfinished business. All right, from that, we'll go to new business. Uh, Mr. Chairman, <clears throat> on the, uh, under our rules of procedure, on the first, Dece first Monday in December, we always have um, uh, a meeting at not, and the rules state this, that we have a meeting of the incumbent board at 9 o'clock. Then the newly elected commissioners are sworn in at 1030. <clears throat> And then we hold our organizational meeting at 11. Um, I was going to ask if, uh, if this December, if we could, uh, if we could move the incumbent board, board meeting to eight, in anticipation of an extremely light agenda. Then, if we could um, swear in the commissioners at 8:15 or 8:30. <clears throat> And then, uh, and then, have the um, have the organizational meeting at nine o'clock, if that would be acceptable to the board. And and uh, Renee Griffith is, is is here. Would that timing work for you? Okay. Okay. 
That's Gentlemen. before breakfast. You going to have the ham biscuits here? <laughs> I'll bring you a ham biscuit. Okay. Could could we move that by 15 minutes? Okay. Just to start at 8:15. We'll, we'll we'll do whatever you want. You want to start at 8:15? Uh, that helped me a little bit. With sure. Okay. Eight, some breakfast so we'll dog. have the I'll, I'll make the motion that the incumbent board meets at 8:15. And that's just to handle any business that, that's popped up. Okay. And then we can do the swearing in at, make that at 8.30. And, uh, and then let's say at, at 9 o'clock, do the um, organizational meeting. Does that work? Yeah. Y'all okay with that? No. If you guys could. Is that possible? I mean, we can cut somebody's term short. That much time is that a state statute that we meet at? Ten Actually, their their term begins on the first Monday of December. So yeah, that, that's why he wanted to move it from eight to eight fifteen. He stroke wanted to move of the fifteen clock. minutes. <laughs> <of power. laughs> fifteen minutes of pay. Stroke of the clock. It starts. Huh? I, I do have a question. Are you talking about just suspending the rules for this particular for session? For this particular session. So you can you're including your motion a motion to suspend the rules. Um, we can either do it a motion, okay, sure, and a, mo a motion to suspend the rules for this particular meeting and adopt these times. Okay. You might, that, the yeah. only question I have, 8.15 to 8.30, although we don't have much, that'll be uh, Commissioner Cadle's last meeting, and he might want to make some grandiose departing speech there. Okay, I'll change it from 8.15 to 8.20. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It was only going to be 14 and a half minutes. <laughs> well, they're not, they're not going to swear anybody in until he shuts up anyway, so I don't guess it matters. Okay. Uh, I, you know, I mean, All right. Now, that's I, the motion you're making? Mr. Yeah. Mr. Robinson? That's your I, motion? I made the motion, yes. Okay. Any questions regarding the motion? If not, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay. The meeting runs a little long. It'll be okay. I want to just, before we go further to the county manager's report, take a few minutes to congratulate Mr. Johnson uh, for his new term. And Ms. Griffith, I knew knew was elected in the back. Congratulations to you. And we want to thank all the people out of the county uh, for coming out and voting that day. It's such a heavy turnout. We do appreciate it. And congratulations to you as well, Mr. Chairman. Thanks, sir. sir. And Representative Mr. Mitchell. Mr. Mitchell, yep. Mr. Mr. Mitchell. Mr. Mitchell. we're about to get you. Yeah, I'm here. You here. Yeah. <laughs> you too, Thanks, sir. sir. I do mean it. Glad to be serving you guys. Yes, sir. Uh, at this time, county manager report. I really don't have anything. I do have a reminder. Uh, the Farm City Week, which uh, I think most of you try to attend when you, when you can, is coming up on uh, Tuesday, the 16th of November, and that's at 6 o'clock at the Ag Center. And, uh, again, that's Farm City Week. And if you don't have that okay. on your calendar. Thanks, sir. Uh, this time we will go on the closed session on the economic development. GS. Oh, what, Scott, under new business, were you not going to make a motion? I'm sorry. Uh, I guess I just wanted to say I, I think as, uh, if we could get an item on, on the agenda uh, next time to discuss the, uh, the need for at least one member to be uh, aware of any budget amendment that we make, I guess. Is what I was getting at. Oversight. But it could Any be. Yeah, it could be the. Budget. Yeah, it could be the chairman is yeah. is fine. But whatever you guys decide to do. But okay. I uh, just like one person to know what's going on all time. On agenda for next time. Right? Yes, sir. Okay. We, that's that's the motion, Scott. I'm on. Yes, right. and it doesn't even have to be a motion. If I, as a matter of privilege, can get it on the agenda, I just I just want to make sure it got discussed. We're directing the staff to. I guess to, to write up if we have, if that goes under rules or procedure or something to, to come up with the appropriate way to, to dictate that that happens. <coughs> okay. 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 Anything else before I move on? All right. Uh, economic development, GS 143-318.11, section A4. We're now going to close session. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Those opposed?
Mr. Chairman, as a result of the closed session meeting, I would like to offer the following motion. I move that we amend the $58 million investment incentive previously adopted for NGK ceramics by lowering the investment amount to $19 million or an incentive of $341,000 over a five-year period. Okay, any questions regarding that motion? If not, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Those opposed. Okay, Mr. Chairman, I offer a second motion to call for a public hearing on November 23rd, 2010 at 7 p.m. regarding an economic development incentive of $717,000 over a five-year period for NGK Ceramics based on a $43.9 million investment in Iredell County. Any questions regarding that motion? If not, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Those opposed? No. 